You're watching Banks. Another vibe, another reaction. Let's get right straight into it. Let's get right straight another into vibe, it. Another Let's reaction. Right By now, as long as you don't live under a rock, then clearly you don't know the song. I feel like this is the song of 2024. Again, thanks to the social media hype. Thanks to social media in general. Thanks to everyone engaging in the in the challenge. But you already know this tune, man. This is the video. And this one is Shaw um Shawala Bam. I always struggle to pronounce it. Probably I'm pronouncing it wrong. But anyway, this is the video which I'm even shocked that. But it makes sense they're releasing the video because the hype is real everywhere. Everyone is doing the challenge. Everyone is getting involved. Everyone is trying to do the dance. Anyway, guys, let's get right straight into this one. This is T Tom and Yup. Um Shawala Bam. So let's go. Shout out to my South Africans. Yeah, you guys have been you guys have been doing the business lately, to be honest. You're watching Banks. Another vibe, another reaction. <laughs> chance to apologize to absolutely nobody okay come on 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 you know what's in hilarious yeah <laughs> i've never heard this part of the song that's the power and also that's the big detriment to songs blowing up on social media because it's only one part that resonates with you but it's just weird hearing this song it just makes me feel like Without, without knowing this song, I'm oh, sorry, without knowing this song or knowing that this is the video, I would think it's someone trying to copy that song and go, oh, so let's say for instance, I've just, I'm new to social media and I bump into the song, then I'm watching the video, I'll be like, oh, this sounds like that song on social media. It seems like this guy's trying to capitalize on the moment, not knowing that this is how the song even starts. <laughs> I can I just say I'm happy with where Ama Piano is right now because it started to us that knew about Ama Piano a long time ago in terms of like the sound. It started with just heavily on beats and there wasn't much lyrical content to it. But I love how it's morphed into something really like very musical outside the beat that carries most of the you know genre. But I love the fact that they're actually having artists behind the beat, that the real people doing it, not the Nigerians and Ghanaians just copying and trying to steal other people's sound, but happy to see South Africans own their sound. And I pray they keep pushing it. And anyone that, anyway, never mind. You already know I'm tired of seeing or hearing a piano from people that are not from South Africa. I am, it's a, it annoys me. Oh, 
You're watching back another vibe, another reaction. I like to take this chance to apologize. Yeah, man, that's how it's done. Let the owner do their thing. You get me? Shout out South Africa. Shout out to the Piano movement. Shout out to the fact that Africa is so diverse and everyone is just having a fun time right now with the genre. Everything is still on the African beats, which, of course, are, you know, if we say Afro beats, a lot of people just instantly think. But people don't know the meaning of Afro and beats. I mean, you can't say African beat doesn't sound nice. So they decided to call it Afro beats. You know what I mean? But anyway, shout out to Africa. One Africa always and every day. Yeah, man. And until next time, peace. Fire!